The truth is that that audience, I was years on the circuit. I studied my craft in, in bars since I was 14 years old. That's 32 years ago, you know, and, and it happened over a long period of time, and it is something of tremendous value. At the same time, not just necessarily any audience is of tremendous value, you know. I think that, you know, if, if you subvert what you're saying, what you're doing, what, you're, what you want your work or your life to be about, then you've lost yourself and, and you feel uh, like you ever the did essence that? Of, of what you do. I don't think so, you know. I think basically I've made the records that I've wanted to make, you know. Uh, I think that in the course of maybe probably the Born in the USA record that the story I was living overshadowed the story I was telling, you know. And that is the consequence of a certain amount of maybe success and 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 fame and that's just something you learn you know that's uh not with everybody so not with my core audience and i, I think that there's a few th things on that record that are probably certainly that the title song which i knew was when i wrote it that it was going to have impact but uh, uh that you know that i you didn't know that my hometown or i didn't know people were gonna yeah. respond like they did you know one way or the other so but i think that i've it's something that i've I'm very, very cautious of right now, you know, and and I'm really, hey, I'm, I feel like I'm just out there checking it out. I'm trying to find, I want this record to be heard, you know, at the same time, you know, I want it to be understood. Seems to me like The Ghost of Tom Joad is a record people will have to listen to a half dozen times before they begin to form their feelings about it. Know, First yeah. couple times through, I, I'm not so sure you're going to get it all. I don't know. You know, that's that's for the listener. I, I've heard it a lot of times. I haven't heard it in a long since we since we finished it off. But I think I can have the experience of the record, but I, I can't quite have that initial listening experience that you're that you're talking about. That's something I have as each song goes down. You know, and uh, but that's slightly different because if I don't think I'm getting it, I I move on to something else. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'll go back. Like Straight Time was, I played it once. I put it away, and basically I threw it away, you know. And John came out, and he has a tendency. He, he always asks my engineer, like, okay, what's what's laying around that, that I haven't been played or I haven't heard, you know. And you know, I think my engineer pulled that one out, and he came back and said, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> so sometimes you don't know. Sometimes you'll do something that was better than you thought it was, you know. When people come to see you on this tour, Obviously, they're going to see an acoustic show, not yes. an acoustic version of songs previously recorded. Yeah, it's not recorded. unplugged. It's not, right. it's it's not unplugged. <laughs> so they're going to see an acoustic show. It, it, there's an interesting contrast, well, if that's the right word, in that. Well, what, what the show is, I'm sorry. I don't no, mean go to ahead. You know, it, it's, it's a folk show, based, to, to put it sort of, you know, in, in the sense that it's, it's, it's kind of not, I'm not sort of doing, you know, my favorites or, their, or the other, or the, the hits or whatever you call it, you know, concentrating very specifically on this particular record and material that, that, uh, uh, that feels like it complements it, you know. And it's a show that, it's a quiet show, you know. There's a lot of uh, focus in it, you know, so it's, 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 it's pretty different, you know. I guess there is some feeling on the part of fans of an individual or a group that when they go to see a concert, that concert should be an updated version of the catalog. We're going to get all the classics, plus we're going to get the handful from the new release that will join that group of classics, and that's not what's well, going to time, happen here. I think here. there's a time to do that. I, we played, you know, I played a couple of nights with the E Street Band, and, and we played a bunch of the old songs. It was fun to do, you know, and it's, 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 I, I enjoyed it, and, you know, it's something, uh, you know, it's just, it's just something where, it's a it's a departure. I, I really I haven't done this before. I, I've played a few few isolated shows. I played Neil Young's Bridge Bridge Benefit a few times acoustically, and 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 I've played a, a, a benefit for the Christic Institute acoustically with, with Jackson Brown, and and then I started out on my own. You know, many you know just when I got signed, I was playing in Max's Kansas City by myself with acoustic guitar, so. In a funny way, it's a throwback to what what that was, you know. And but it's it's something I haven't 
I haven't really done before and and uh it's something I've wanted to do for a long time it's 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 it really it, it pairs everything away and, and makes sort of what you're about and what you're doing real clear and that's what I'm interested in in communicating right now you know I'm, I'm real excited about it and I think the fans are going to enjoy it you know you know that what can I say it's a special group of people and and uh, I'm sure at some point you know we'll be doing something I, I I hate to predict because I'm always wrong myself and I follow when I said you sort of follow your voice, that's what you do. Like the voice of this particular record was something that felt like, yeah, I, I, it was just something I, I, I heard in my head right now. You know, whether you hear the world speaking to you or, or uh, something inside you speaking to you that moves you in a particular direction, and that's, that's really, that leads you hopefully to your most your your most honest work. Hopefully to your best work, and but but hopefully to to your to, to your honest job, you know. And then also, hey, if you make a quiet record, you tend to want to make some noise maybe later or something. But uh, I'd want to be able to call on hey, the guys if they and if everybody felt like it. And and I think if, if I was going to make a a, a a rock record right now, that'd be the first thing that I'd do, you know. Hey, it's one of the you know that side of my family is the most important relationships in my life that and my relationship with my audience you know so. still stand by your statement that the two best days of your life the day you picked up the guitar and the day you learned how to put it down oh that's those those days have been su supplanted now I, I guess the best days of my life were certainly with the birth of my children you know i think any parent always says that and uh, uh and then hey you know finding the thing that moves you Something to do, finding something to do was was really really important. I think maybe that's why I'm attuned to to that and others. You know, it's something that hey, it's it was so important to me. It was so important, and it's been so rewarding. You know, um, you know, and hey, that that was the the American idea was that everybody everybody would have that opportunity, that chance. You know, and. Uh, you know, that's an idea worth, you know, worth fighting for. So, the the easy glib thing is when people say, if someone gets successful, and they have material wealth, they get out of touch with the troubles of people on the margins. I think that's too easy. But if a person truly finds happiness, and it seems like you're happier than you've ever been, uh, for a stretch of time now in your life, if a person finds happiness, is there a danger that? the artistic edge can be muted no, a little bit? No, because uh, it depends. No, once again, you can't, any of those things you can't generalize. It, thing, you know, life circumstances change change people in, in a lot of different ways. You know, I know, hey, if, you know, you can, you can make a lot of money and be isolated, but I knew some hardcore isolated people who, you know, who had nothing, you know, and uh, who cut themselves off. I've, I've said in the past, you can isolate yourself with a six pack of beer, you know. So it's, there's no, I, I don't know, I don't buy those types of generalizations, you know. I think it depends on the individual and and the idea that, that happiness somehow mutes, mutes your work. I, I, I'm not so sure. It depends what drives you. It depends where you, what you want and the things that, you know, I think you still... And I still search for the, for a big part of the meaning in my life, in my work, along with in my my life now, you know, and uh, it's very very central to me. And and plus, I think you, your you, your life never leaves you. The life you've lived since you were born isn't something that that disappears. You know, the idea. I think anybody who's ever who has ever seriously kicked around never ever forgets. You know, that's. That just that stuff never leaves you, and I think part of if you're a person whose whose who's job is to mine your imagination, you keep the you keep every aspect of your life wide open and all. It's never a closed book. You never say, "Well, that was then." You know, it's always now. You know, it's all always now, and so you draw from that well as you can. You know, Bruce, thanks a lot. Good luck with the Ghost Thank of Tom you. Jode and the tour. Thank you very much.